Let's see the isolate tool for split skull. So you have a character. Let's import this one. You will edit your character. Let's scale this. Let's make a rotation. Do it exactly as you want. Now you want to concentrate on the arm, for example. And you don't want to hide everything to be able to see through this. Okay? So that's why I created the isolate tool. You will select the part you want to work on. You will click on isolate and it will isolate this selection in the 3D view. It will create a collection named isolate and only this collection will be visible. Okay? So I want to work on the arm. Uh, let's hide this part. You can use Control Alt and Q. Bam, that will hide the modifiers and you can change the shortcut in the add-on preferences. So just like that, you have your selection. It is isolated in the 3D view and you can work on this one without having to hide everything. The another interesting part is that you can still go in local view and exit the local view. You will only have the isolated part visible when you will exit. So let's show the modifiers. Let's exit the isolate view. Another interesting part is that let's split my view. I will still, uh, I will select this one just to change. On this part, I want to isolate it. So I will click on isolate and bam, as you can see, I have only the isolated part here. And on this one, I have everything. So like that, I can work on this part and still see the result uh, with my uh, object. I didn't add to uh, hide the part uh, to uh, show it later, etc. I just can isolate the selection I want. And once again, I can also still go in local view and exit the local view and exit the isolate. And after, if I want, I can join my view. So that's it with the isolate. I hope you like this tool.